President Donald Trump was able to win the White House in 2016 despite being the least liked major party nominee in history. Today, more people continue to dislike than like Trump. If Trump's popularity ratings remain low, the question is whether he can repeat his 2016 feat. New polling suggests that Trump will have difficulty doing that because, for now, the 2020 election looks like it will be a referendum on him. An NBC News Wall Street Journal poll out this weekend found that Trump trailed a generic Democratic candidate by seven points in a hypothetical 2020 matchup. The important statistic here isn't so much that Trump was losing, it's still early 2019, after all. It's why Trump was losing. Trump trailed because among the same voters gave Trump a six-point net approval rating, approval rating disapproval rating. This was not the first NBC News Wall Street Journal poll to show Trump losing to a generic Democrat. Back in December, Trump trailed a generic Democrat by 14 points. His net approval rating in that poll was 11 points. The average poll shows Trump is about this popular currently. Again, the key statistic here is Trump's margin is directly related to his own popularity. In limited polling, the well-known Democratic candidate seemed to doing as well against Trump by what you'd expect given his popularity. In a January Glenn Gariff Group poll of Michigan voters, Trump trailed Joe Biden by 13 points and Bernie Sanders by 11 points. The same poll put Trump's net approval rating among Michiganders at nine points. A poll from Quinnipiac University of Texas voters out last week showed something similar. Trump's position against the most well-known Democrats in Texas, Biden, Beto O'Rourke and Bernie Sanders, matched his approval rating. This 2020 data does not look at all like what happened in 2016. In the election, Trump had a 22 net favorability rating, favorable on favorable. Yet, he only lost the popular vote by two points and won the Electoral College. Trump was able to win in 2016 because that election came down to a choice between him and Hillary Clinton. Clinton was the second least liked major party nominee of all time, and there was 18% of the electorate that liked neither Clinton nor Trump. Trump won this 18% of the electorate by 17 points and with it the election. In other words, Trump was seen as the lesser of two evils.